Hey there, Sharon Hornell. So we're here with 65 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. We're focusing on the area of confidence, meaning confidence and belief in ourselves. And we can have confidence in the things that we do, the people that we interact with, the businesses, their jobs, etc. But we're focusing mostly on ourselves because this challenge is all about you and all about me becoming the best possible version of ourselves. And we do that a little bit every single day. So confidence this month, We've talked about we've, we've talked about a lot of things, but today our topic is I speak and think positively. And what does this have to do with our confidence? Let's get a magnifying glass, read the back, and then I'll I'll just say a couple of things that give us an action to do today to make sure that we are speaking and thinking positively and increasing our confidence to the best of our ability every single day. It says on the back, I listen to what I say. If I hear myself using negative or limiting words, I change them. Now, this is an area that I've worked on my entire life, and I still kind of think at it if I listen to the feedback I get from my kids, my children. Other people don't usually tell us uh, when we're speaking negatively, although I will never forget I was on the gym boat cruise with Jim Edwards, and Jim Edwards <laughs> said something about being a klutz, and he said, really, Sharon? Because he reminded me that I was using negative visioning and negative self-talk, and obviously that was you know over a decade ago, and I still remember it, so maybe I need to continually work on my personal positive thinking and self-talk. Uh, remember, we've always got that voice going on in our head that's telling us stuff, whether we're paying attention to it or not. And a lot of times, in many of us, that voice is automatically negative. And so that's why I do things like the flip switch, where as soon as I catch myself thinking or saying, because if I say it, that means I've already thought it. So I not only have I felt it, thought it, and said it, I've taken action on it, which means I'm creating that in my life. And I don't want negative things to show up in my life. They're gonna show up plenty of them on their own. I don't need to help create them. So what does speaking and thinking positively have to do with our self-esteem and self-confidence? We've done a ton of research on this topic. Not me, scientists, of course, and people that are much wiser than I have, have studied self-esteem, self-confidence, and the impact of positive and negative thinking, positive and negative beliefs, because our beliefs are just thoughts we think a lot or that are attached to strong emotional events or some trauma that we had in our life. And they found that having positive self-talk, being able to do this trick where you switch it around, where you catch yourself thinking something negatively, and before you even say it, you turn it to something else or you think it in a different way that it improves our self-esteem, it improves our self-confidence, it improves our problem-solving ability, it improves our ability to deal with difficult situations and challenges and the stuff that comes up in our life. So who doesn't want more of that? I know I do. I want to be able to uh, deal with things that come up no matter what. I want to be able to confidently deal with things that come up no matter what. So what's our action item today? Our action item today is to actually listen to and pay attention to some of those messages that are coming our way and bless you if you don't happen to have this particular uh, challenge in your life I know that uh, there are people that don't there are people that just have the po most positive shiny sunny outlook and they're, they're just a pleasure to be around because they just think about the world in a positive way they see everything in a positive way now I have to do that intentionally I, I wish I was that way and maybe I'll envision myself becoming that way more but so far in my life it's been something that I actually have to pay conscious attention to and counteract on purpose because naturally it just comes up kind of negative so action item today pay attention to listen to your your thoughts and your speech especially the stuff that comes out of your mouth because by the time it comes out of your mouth if it's negative you've had a couple of it, it's more ingrained than if you just uh, are thinking it right if we can catch it when we're thinking it we can change it sooner if it comes out of our mouth and we speak it that means that it's more ingrained and we're gonna have to really pay attention to working on changing those negative thoughts and beliefs so pay attention to those and if you're brave and you catch yourself in one share in the comments below so we can help one another if you catch one another saying something negative positively and kindly remind us that that's not probably true for you because I I get a little Hence when my daughter reminds me, but I don't want to set the bad example for her and my and my granddaughters by by saying negative things or derogatory things about myself. I will pretty much do it all the time, but I'm working on it. continuous improvement, right? All right, if I can help you anyway, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything to add on this topic, go ahead, share in the comments below or hit me up. 
Have an awesome day, and I'll of course be to you tomorrow. Bye. And positive I'll be with you tomorrow.